Now we are going to cover the baddies associated with BP. So if you see here, you go to this baddie screen, you can see the business part or replication, request, inbound. So these are the standard baddies that are already there. You can use this baddie to transfer edit fields with message this. So this is coming from re replication. Now there are baddies for other process like we can do a search baddie, probably I need to do like this and do a search data assignment pp yep so here it is so these are the ways so here this is another baddie where you can use this baddie to change and extend field assignment for customer vendor you can adjust assignment so if you notice let's go to the baddie instead of reading all of this so we can see here there are some custom stuff standard stuff that you can do you have uh, you can uh, it's already there okay so if you see there is stuffs like suppress mandatory checks so if we go to the code okay so it's displaying the code this is a little technical but here in the in the code we can show what's there so as, as it displays, it says it's, so we'll see BP vendor. Let's see the piece of code written there. So there's no code here. So let's see, there would be somewhere the codes. Okay, so we'll display V1, or probably it's just a placeholder. <clears throat> so let me see. BP to vendor, BP to vendor to BP. Yeah, see here. So this is the place if you see it's vendor to BP. So when <clears throat> when you are doing a, re a replication from a vendor to a BP, not everything in vendor needs to be replicated to BP. There may be some mandatory fields on your side that may not be a mandatory in the pp side so you don't need that so these are the things where you can you know so there are stuffs like uh, where you can see these are the different type of cost country checks where it's based on the country to check what are the mandatory fields because there are some mandatory fields like in india the vat is a mandatory field uh vat tax in brazil there are some other mandatory fields in hungary you have other mandatory fields based on the country they have different rules and they have different mandatory fields so this is just is just one one type of a baddie now there is another baddie so if you see this is another baddie where you know data assignment of banking details bp to customer so if you see uh, this bad is used in master data you can use baddie to change and extend field for bank data so bank data is important okay then there is payment cards form of address and other steps so this is so these are all the different baddies that are already there so now there are some other stuff that uh, there's some other baddies okay there's some other baddies for replication and other stuff. Another thing I would like to touch about is the data cleansing portion. So data cleansing and archiving portion. This is pretty, pretty, pretty nice where, you know, you can maintain the number ranges for the data cleansing. And if you see, <coughs> we're going to do, but here you can <coughs> create the object name com clear. Let's clear. Let's create one okay and we'll put a number range here so we'll create a man maintain a number range and we'll see and uh, specify that does not already specify an object that does not exist okay so just change it make repairs to foreign names trace only if this. so this is already data cleansing tool if you see customizing grouping okay so group table and we'll can the ranges uh, to, so we'll just save it. We saved it now. Okay, so so I think I'm getting some error message that is preventing me from saving. So I'll just hit this one. Then you can define the priorities. So here you can say it's very important. Priority one, two, very important, and three is within seven days. So it tells you 
you can add more priorities okay so let's add some more priorities we can say you know say uh priority four uh we can say bi-weekly you know something like that and we'll save it so it saves okay so we see, you can see now we have one that we have created and then this activate the duplicate cleansing you need to understand this before you do it see select d for duplicates and make it set the value star if data cleansing should be active for all the possible data sources. so it does the duplicate check the whole reason in s4 hana we need this otherwise you know it will not run fast you cannot load junk in the system so those are the things that you have to understand so if you see boobasta flex set event has occurred and then what is this these are different process so this is already done so this tells everything about the data cleansing piece now there's something called the change documents for deleted relationships okay this is another piece uh, so so it will tell you what are the change documents for deleted if there's something deleted it will still create the change document so that when audit comes back and ask you you don't get in trouble so let's see what's the use of it in this img activity you can define whether change document should be generated for a, when a archiving business partners so uh, so this this thing is important when you delete it keeps the change document every time you remember in sap in ecc6 we had always this problem when you delete you don't really know what is which which record is deleted because there's no delete change happening uh, because that record is deleted so this is something is really helpful and i think uh, as for hana did a lot of things that we are coming to know and it's not really publicized but through this course getting publicized there are stuffs for data protection you know all these things are there so i will not go much on this we'll just go through this business partner relationship so these are stuffs you know you can you, you can explore it it's a it's a lot of stuff another thing i will say i saw somewhere is the status piece yeah this is the status management this is something which is brand new out of box sap built it for vendors okay so i'll show you what they have built okay so you see this this one this was before there in for work management piece and other piece especially in work management where they used to assign a status to a work work order and based on the status whether it's in planning whether it's in progress whether it's completed whether it's technically complete and closed same thing sap has given in vendors and customers so that will help them they can you know or when onboarding a vendor they can put a status and uh, not everywhere when uh, you know in vendor master they can just create a field for blocking so they have field for company code block posting block delivery means uh, demark for deletion but there are some some stuffs that can be a block but it's a soft block and they can't like currently if you have a credit uh, you have some bankruptcy block suppose for this vendor okay uh, then what you do is you put a posting block but you really can't understand why you put the posting block someone needs to so what you can do here you can put a status uh, in this status management it's it's simple here you can put a pro status as you know rejected or bankruptcy you know i'm just putting for the heck okay and we'll save it now you might say okay you did something here where it will really show me so it will show you here so what we are going to see is vendor status we're going here okay this is what we changed right and it does it only shows when it is i think financial yep, financial it's not activated here so here you can see the status profile active status and all those things so here this place, I think it would be supply. Mm, 
not here so let's see should be somewhere let's see not this one probably supply yep and here you can see active status here you can add the status management so i think the status management would be here financial accounting nope. financial bp status management probably i need to activate it or not it was saved saved the status profile this is this is for what so this is initial and here it probably if i go in change mode it shows yes that was the trick i was in display mode that's what i was thinking assign status see this is our one okay vendor and what are the status you have rejected approved in process initiate now let's see why it didn't show the name probably it has a limitation I probably didn't get saved probably i have to go back and get out from here and but you can see it's showing so this is the this is the new stuff that in business partners you can really see you see now if i go here i'll just put vendor status and now it shows voila so you can you can you know select and you can put this status rejected and i save it and based on these you know you can build a workflow and it's really you don't need to put blocks and all those things uh, you can put blocks but this status you can do a reporting on it and it's really handy it's uh, it's one thing that the customers has been asking forever and now they're getting it because in work order it was there and uh, we used to use it and and now it's in bp with lenders and uh, it's really helpful good uh, one thing you just need to wonder it doesn't really get stored in vendor master table to get the status the actual status you need to go through a bunch of tables like tg30 or something let me see uh, that's 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 one trick if you haven't worked with status management okay you might want to see it so there's this table i think tg30 as far as i know uh see here so tg30 this is this is the place where it stores and i think the table where it stores the actual data is just okay so just stores the type of data you have so i i don't remember what would be here probably bp i don't know let's give a try no it's not bp so it gets stored with the so let me see how much data we have we have a lot of data here see here probably we can let's go to this table we have opened another the previous table and that gives a relationship between this and the, no this one let's go to this one uh, we'll go to tj30 okay and we'll execute and we'll see our one it's e it should probably start with e or something the status will be e star yep so if you notice this is this is very unique you see this this is very unique where the statuses are some are three some are two and all those things but uh, here let's go to this table two is three is in process so we'll see which one is which ones are three so these are the ones that have so what i can do there's nothing there's nothing one so i'll what i'll do is i'll just put insert status i'll go into uh, this was the status let's go again and we'll change it um, you want me to change oh. I'll, do, I'll just select this and I'll just deactivate. Must not be deleted. Okay, can't be deleted. Okay, so let's see. 
insert status uh, it, it is saying it's active cannot be activated so so I think that the the issue will be when when I was creating the status I made it the rejected one as the final one so uh, let me go to yes yeah, so here if you see it's something so it would be in some of the table that this business partner is mentioned and there would be this object number mentioned there okay and you have to map that and push it here to know which one is the one that we changed okay so let's do another thing we can do is instead of instead of picking this vendor number we can go to another vendor number and we'll just uh, we'll just select this one okay and we'll see which ones and we'll just put initiate suppose we'll select initiate and we'll just activate and we'll save it required entry fields y is blank in table we picked the wrong one it has some data problem so let's pick this one and we will make uh, again activate we'll put vendor and we'll select initiate and we will just save it let's see okay voila it got saved now and now we will see this this table right so now we can see we put E star, right? And we will say uh, there will be more entries coming. Yeah, so we got some more entries coming. So that was that was really helpful. So you can see these are the way to get the get the get this description. So this is pretty handy, and you can see you can do a lot of stuff through this process. So. This tells you you can use the status management. Now there is another portion that we we were trying to cover is the legal. This is a new thing that they have added. You can do a lot of stuff in the balance sheet account and all those things through this tab. And again, we have seen we can change the tab. We can rename the tab if you don't like legal or you can put law or something and uh, you can make something mandatory and something optional and something hidden so this would be this is pretty useful